morning. The European Southern Observatory, or ESO, announced last Friday that it's launched its Pale Red Dot campaign. It's a hunt for an Earth-like exoplanet orbiting around the next nearest star, Proxima Centauri. Proxima is the nearest of three stars in the Alpha Centauri system. This video from Mana Brow on YouTube shows an imaginary trip to this star. Its distance is just 4.2 light years away. There have been hints that this star has a small planet Planet, and the new campaign will look for telltale wobbles in the star's motion that might reveal it. ESO wants you to follow along with their blog posts and social media updates. For more, go to paleredot.org. SpaceX tried again yesterday to land its Falcon 9 rocket upright at sea. The rocket came down on target, then tipped over and crashed. Prior to the landing attempt, the rocket did successfully launch and deploy the Jason 3 Ocean Studies satellite. And SpaceX did successfully land a rocket upright on land last month. It said it'll keep trying. Astronomers have released a new first ever comprehensive age map of our home galaxy, the Milky Way. A team based in Germany measured the compositions and masses of more than 70,000 red giant stars to learn their ages. And they measured these stars out to about 50,000 light years. That's halfway across the Milky Way. And what's interesting about this research is that it seems that the older Milky Way stars are in the center of the galaxy, while subsequent generations of stars formed farther and farther out. So like trees, galaxies may grow from the inside out. And that makes looking at an age map of our Milky Way and maybe other galaxies too, uh, maybe like looking at tree rings. Comet Catalina came closest to Earth yesterday. It passed at a very safe distance, 68 million miles away. That's in contrast to the moon's distance of just a quarter million miles. Mark Shelton in Alabama created this composite image this weekend. The comet isn't visible to the eye alone, but for weeks and weeks now, people have been seeing it in the pre-dawn sky with binoculars and telescopes and getting wonderful pictures of the comet. We've got charts and other info at earthsky.org. Search on the words Comet Catalina. That's all for today. I'm leaving you with a video clip showing the planets before dawn from last August to this coming March. It's from Larry Cohen at the great website shadowinsubstance.com. Beginning this week until mid-February, we'll be able to see all five bright planets at once before dawn. More on that Thursday.